Well, Eric, tell us what you know about the, um, the engine failure. Was exhaust failure on Nick? What? Um, we had a, uh, an issue on the pit stop, actually. One of the wind was stuck you know, and the gun failed. So the car was, uh, was unlifted and, uh, and the engine was still blowing under high revs, you know. And uh, this, this design is not done for this purpose, so I think it went too hot and the exhaust uh, blew up. Okay, but the engine should be able to just sit there for 10 seconds, even 15, 20 seconds without blowing up. Of course, but not when you're on the limiter. So why was Nick on the limiter then? Because he was supposed to be done, to be dropped down and to, to lift. You know? Right, maybe he, so he, sh should he have lifted off? Should I? Yes, maybe, but uh, the, 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 the issue is uh, it's, uh, being on the rev limiter because this is a procedure when you're changing the tires, there is a timing to, and the, and the, and the light system allows them you know, to go on the rev, you know, but then on the release of the gun, it doesn't work, you know, and they stay too long. Okay, why, this is the second time we've seen this season, uh, your car's on fire. Why is it? Is it these exhausts that go under the car? I think the, 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 the design is done for the running car, and not for a standing car. I mean, the problem we had the other time was different. It was completely different, actually. It was just uh, an exhaust breaking up, and, uh, and uh, then obviously the gas blowing into the car inside. The, so it was completely different.